Welcome to the Weekly Calendar, I'm Rachel Baker. In this segment, I'll inform you about community events and local charities you can donate your time to. So with that, let's dive right in. First up, the expert motivational speaker, Michael Jeffrey, is speaking in Oxford on Wednesday, August 7th about the power of vision. This talk will te teach you five action strategies for taking your life to the next level by changing your thinking and therefore your results. The talk will be held at Independence Village in Waterstone from 8 to 9 a.m. and yes, breakfast will be served. The deadline to register is Tuesday, August 6th. You can sign up now by visiting oxfordchamber.net. And this August, a millage to support the Oxford Parks and Rec Department is up for a vote to be reinstated. This millage supports over 500 acres of public parkland. Everything in Oxford from beaches to trails, tennis courts, sledding hills, skating rinks, and more. Don't forget to go to your precincts and vote on it this tu on Tuesday, August 6th. And next up, Oxford's Concerts in the Park will continue through the month of July, starting this Thursday. The Rusty Wright Blues Band will perform blues and rock music for everyone at 7 p.m. As usual, if you want to perform yourself, there's open mic from 6 to 7 every Thursday evening. Next Thursday, Ruby, T, and Valentine will play Torch and Twang music. Be sure to attend, the concerts are very popular and always a lot of fun. Now, if you're looking to grow your business, then join Oxford Power Networking. The first meeting will be next Friday on July 19th from 8 to 9 a.m. in the Oxford Community Room at the Village offices. The group will meet on the first and third Fridays of every month. If you're interested in this networking group, call 248-535-7336. You must be a chamber member in order to join. This Friday, Buffalo Wild Wings is hosting a charity golf outing to benefit the Metro Detroit Youth Clubs. Registration begins at 11 a.m. and a shotgun will kick up the, the golf outing off at noon. Register today at Buffalo Wild Wings. And next, if you enjoy art and want somewhere affordable to admire it, then consider the Detroit Institute of Arts. For members of Oakland, Macomb, and Wayne Counties, general admission is free. Now this isn't new, but many people don't know this resource is available to them. In fact, free admission for these counties has been in place since 2012 and will stay until 2022. Here's the reason why. In August 2012, voters in Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties approved a 0.2 millage to fund the DIA, and in return, the DIA offered benefits to the county residents. Since then, we've had free unlimited general museum admission and discounted special exhibition tickets. The DIA took care of schools as well. We get free school trips and bus transportation, expanded teacher to professional development programs, and curriculum development with school systems. Seniors within the three counties get free group visits as well, including exclusive programs and bus transportation. So take advantage of it, Oxford. And finally, I would like to take a quick minute and speak to all alumni of Lake Orion High School that are currently living in Oxford. The multi-class reunion is coming up next week. The formal reunion will be held on Saturday the 20th at Camp Agawam. In addition to the reunion, you can attend a pre-party the day before on Friday at the C Pub, and that is the letter C, in Canterbury Village. The pre-party begins at 6 p.m. and the band Blues Control will be performing. It's important to note that the entire reunion runs on donations. There's no cover charge for the bands. On Saturday, the reunion will be held again, Camp Agawam this year, where Tommy Stock is held. There's gonna be a lot of open space, so bring whatever you'd like to be comfortable. The band Rock Candy will be performing on Saturday for the, the, for the reunion. There will be hamburgers and hot dogs for sale, all organic and grass-fed from Mike Christian Cattle Ranch. I was told to encourage you to bring a dish to Paz if you'd like. During the event, you'd be, uh, there will be a 50-50 raffle and silent auction, as well as donation jars. There are indoor bathrooms at the nearby Alberici Lodge for those of you that don't care for the four porta potties that will be on site. After the party, you can bring a tent and stay the night with some friends to keep the party going, or in the case of poor weather, the Alberici Lodge has been reserved for 24 beds. There is a small price, uh, price for the beds, so if you have any questions or concerns, please contact Michelle Flanagan Corneal at 248-693-2353. That's it for us today. If you have something you'd like to share with our audience on television, please contact us for more information at our studio. You can reach us at the number below or our website at occtv.org. I'm Rachel Baker, signing off. Be sure to join us again next time for your weekly schedule of events.